welcome back to Kids Gardening with Liz. I'm here at the Arroyo High School Farm Lab and today we're going to talk about how to propagate a plant from a cutting. So this is a very uh, easy thing to do. A lot of you have probably already tried it with succulents where all you have to do is cut off a single leaf, leave it on your table for a week and it will sprout a whole new succulent. Well, there's lots of other things you can propagate that way. One of my favorite is mint or yerba buena. We have lots of it. I've got two kinds of mint here, spearmint and chocolate mint. We're going to propagate both of them today. So the first step for your propagation, you're gonna need a pot and some soil. I'm using a seed starting mix. It's nice and fine, which is easier for the plants to establish their new roots. And I'm gonna cut our cuttings here. So I'm cutting uh, about five or six inches. Give myself plenty of room to grow roots and the roots are going to grow from the node. The node is the juncture of where the leaf and the stem come together. So in order to uh, get as many possible roots as we can and ensure a healthy establishment of our new mint plant, we're going to strip off almost all of the leaves. So I'm going to hold the top of the plant and just run my fingers down the stem. I just broke that one. We're going to keep going though. <laughs> okay. So once you've got all the leaves off, you want to make sure you leave just a few leaves at the top so that the plant can photosynthesize. But you want most of the energy to be going down into creating new roots. So I'm going to do the exact same thing to my spearmint. Strip it right from the top. You can even take off these two top leaves and just leave the very top. It really just needs a little bit to photosynthesize. Now my cuttings are a little bit too long for this pot, so I'm just gonna cut them a little bit shorter. Perfect. And now I'm gonna hold the tops of the stems and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour my soil right into the pot. And I'm want, you want the soil level to come all the way up to the top so that almost the entire stem is buried and only the little leaves are sticking out at the top of the soil. All right. Now I have them nice and buried. I tucked them in. Now I'm going to give them a really good soak with a watering can. And I'm going to store them in a shady, cool place until they establish and I'm going to water them every two to three days and once they start getting new growth like I'm noticing new leaves start to sprout that's how I know that my roots have established and my mint is happy and growing and ready to harvest. So if you have more questions about propagating from cuttings reach out to us through our website ecourbangardens.org Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you next week. Thank you.